You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a, a fairly new face to Brockton. I have Will Dickerson. Yes. The second? Yes, the second. Because yep. you have now the third, correct? Yep. Just had a new baby. Oh, you had a new baby. Yeah. And you're the executive director for Brockton Interfaith Community. Yes. I say BIC. I want to make sure the viewers know what we're talking about. Of course, of course. And Brockton Interfaith is combined of the, the churches, the houses of worship in Brockton. Uh, I don't know if any temples are involved anymore because I know the temples all moved out of Brockton. But congregations, people of faith coming together to do good. Is that a good description? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. I would say so. Um, what got you here to Brockton? I'm just curious. Yeah, it's, so it's it's an interesting story. I just, um, uh, I've been community organizing for about five and a half years now. Mm -hmm. um, I came from Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, I actually live in, in Aurora. Just most folks don't know where that is when I yeah. say it. Um, but <laughs> um, I found myself doing um, community organizing over that period of time with an organization called Together Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, which is a, a group that is connected to the national group uh, PICO or People Improving Communities Through Organizing. Right. Um, and, and so I, I had become the lead organizer. I kind of really done a lot of uh, deep organizing in the community and uh, was really excited about the next step for me. And so I, I'm a man of faith. I, I pray and so I pray to God and I ask God to kind of show me the path. Mm -hmm. And um, a friend of mine who uh, is connected to MCAN, which is the statewide organization we're connected to, right, um, uh, said that this opening had come up and that I should come interview. And when I got here, I fell in love with Brockton. Um, it's a great um, place. Yeah, I, uh, I fell in love with the people. And I also saw an opportunity for me to learn here mm -hmm. um, a, a, um, in a different environment. And I also saw an opportunity to share some of the gifts that God has blessed me with, with the city. And you're located now, newly moved, yes. over at Christ Congregational Church. Yeah, well, we haven't moved yet, but Mar um, March 9th we will okay. be officially Okay, so there. you'll be there. Yeah. That's a great church. I live right nearby. I live oh, okay, around the yeah. corner, literally. And uh, Reverend Hayes, yeah. I think, yep. Patricia Hayes. We do a lot of music there. There's a lot of the symphony plays there. Jubilati Chorale plays there. They do the Christ Congregational <laughs> organ stuff. We're there a lot. Yeah. And community, some big community events have taken place there. Absolutely. So you're in the right, you're in the right place. Okay. Good. They're good. community minded. They used to be our neighbor next door before mm -hmm. they built the new church. Mm -hmm. I call it, still call it the new church. They were next door, <laughs> and they were really, really good neighbors. We're sorry to see them go. There's another church there, and they're fine neighbors, but they're very community oriented. Mm -hmm. So it makes perfect sense for Bic Office to be over there. Plus, they have meeting space. They have all they have childcare there. You name it, it's there. And, yeah. and, and like I, like we know, it's a house of worship. So, what are you hoping to do um, to, I guess, reinvigorate Bic? Bic Bic's been around, I think, since 1990 ish, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. I know someone who used to be a city councilor, Marty Crowell. She was one of the first presidents. She really got involved with Bic, mm. and then she became a city councilor yeah. because she was an active community activist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She even ran for mayor before that was that was the end of her career, but yeah. she ran for mayor too. And a lot of people, I, I knew people from I belonged to Temp, I belonged to Temple Beth Muna. Mm -hmm. That was a one of the members of BIC. Temple Israel was a member of BIC. Mm -hmm. um, and some people on the social action, the social justice committees were involved in BIC. What are you hoping to bring to BIC yourself? Yeah. What do you envision? Yeah, so I mean the vision is really to um, you know, every community organization, they go through their ebbs and their flows, their, uh, their seasons, if you will. And, you know, the spring season is always this, you know, vibrant, everything's growing, beautiful kind of season. Um, and then you go through it and you get to winter, right? And winter is cold and you're like kind of introspective and you're thinking about, um, you know, uh, how to stay warm, basically. Right? Sure. And so we are coming out of this winter season into uh, a spring season, a season of opportunity, a season of growth, a season of seed planting. And so um, over the past uh, <clears throat> uh, month of January, uh, we did a, a, a training called the School of Prophetic Action, where we were developing and training folks in, our, uh, in the congregations that are a part of BIC right now to do community organizing from a faith perspective. Um, the question that is asked is a Howard Thurman question, you know, what does your faith have to say about people wh whose backs are up against the wall? Mm -hmm. And getting people to act from that space. Um, and so over this year, this team of people, uh, we train um, about, what, 57 people mm -hmm. in this. 
they're doing listening in their congregations. Um, they'll be listening to folks in the community. Um, we will be having a, a, a time of celebration where we're gonna choose an issue together. Um, we're still kind of hammering down the date of that. Okay. Uh, but we wanna invite the community to come and to choose an issue with us. And from there, uh, then we're going to do some more training. We're going to learn how to do research. We're going to learn uh, how to uh, increase our power and build power together. And when I use the word power, I mean the, the ability to be able, the ability to achieve our, our, our common purpose together. And so to be able to build that together, and then we're going to have an action uh, where we're going to bring all the community together and public officials that have the power to make the change, and we're going to build some relationship and, and start, to, start to build up Brockton as a community. Um, in the ways that, that BIC has always done in the past. Well, it, I know that all, BIC's always been involved both political season and off political mm -hmm, season mm -hmm. to try to influence some of the people that have the elected power, but those folks are representatives of, of the people and are accountable to the people. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, right now in this day and age, I think it's even more important than it ever was because sometimes people feel powerless, especially the people that you're describing that you know, have their backs up against the wall. Yeah. If you really think about it, most people, paycheck to paycheck, yeah. you lose that job, you lose that paycheck, <coughs> all of a sudden, you're thinking a little bit more about yourself because you might not have the money for rent, you might not have the mortgage, yeah. your car breaks down, it spirals out of control, but people of faith always come together to help those people. Yeah. Yeah. And Brockton, people of faith came together and put the homeless shelter together mm -hmm, back mm -hmm, in the day. My, my dad, after he retired, my dad was a parole officer, parole supervisor in corrections. He became the executive director of the Mainspring House when he retired. Yeah, yeah And we couldn't yeah. get him home. He, he was like, Dad, are you coming home for dinner? No, 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 I'm gonna be I with the women that. and the children. Yeah. So believe it or not, I, I'm, I get the two minute cue, okay? Mm -hmm. So what do you want to, do you have any events coming up that we need to promote? Or we'll welcome you back anytime. Anytime you have an event, let us know. We'll promote it on cable. We'll bring you back, your president, whoever. Do you have anything like, uh, you know, we're in, we're, we're getting ready to finish yeah. out February and head into March. Anything new upcoming on the horizon? Yeah, so there, there are two things that I want to offer up. So on, on March f uh, 5th and March 12th, um, I'm having a, 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 an extra School of Prophetic Action training on listening for folks that want to participate. It will be at Mount Moriah, um, and on both days it'll be from 6 to 9. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-part, three-hour training, um, so it's uh, six hours in all. Um, and at the end of that, you'll, you'll get a set of training around what it means to be a faith-based uh, community organizing. Uh, That's group. exciting because I'll tell you one thing. People talk a lot. Yeah. People don't listen yeah. as much as they yeah. talk. Yeah. And active listening. Um, I'm involved in Rotary. I don't know if you've been to Brockton Rotary. Um, you should if you're not because they, they, they probably want to hear from you. Yeah, okay? sure. Um, I'm involved in the Bridgewater Rotary, and they do, right now, there's active bystander training that hmm. they're involved. There's a group of citizens, ci civility and respect. So now I have the one-minute cue. Yeah. Okay. Contact information, website, how would people get more involved in Vic? Yeah, so if you reach out to uh, Will at BrocktonInterfaith.org, um, that's one way to get in contact with me. Um, also, the website is, um, is just uh, simply getting on and looking up BrocktonInterfaithCommunity.org and you'll, you'll find us. So. And the phones will be moved around, so don't give the phone Yeah, so don't call right us now. yet. But um, do you guys have a Facebook, too? Oh, we do. Yeah, okay. so you can find us on Brockton uh, Interfaith Community. So we're going to give you the link so you can take this and put it on the Facebook. If yeah, you want. that's we, great. We give everybody the link. Uh, we have uh, TV channels, and then we also have a YouTube, the Brockton channels. So oh. I'll, we'll educate you all about cable, but thanks for coming yeah, by. Yeah, we'll thank you for you having me. All right. Okay? Great. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.